Joining us this generation from the River Hawk Captain, Senior Left Winger Mark Roboth and Robo. Welcome. Thanks, Bob. I think the last time we talked, you uh, were rehabbing from an injury. So I guess maybe I should start by saying how to feel to get back on the ice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've been skating for a little bit before I got back, but uh, it's definitely good to play again. A lot of fun. Did it take a little while to get back up to game speed, or you just, did you feel like getting back out that you hadn't lost a step? At first, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but uh, just from practicing so much, I practiced for like two weeks before I played my first game back. So no, I was pretty good back up to speed. So when we talk about you on the ice, we always talk about intensity. Where does that intensity come from? I don't know, because uh, I'm not that intense off the ice. Uh, I just hate losing, I'd say, probably. Just despise That drives me. you? That pushes you? Yeah, pretty much. Do you go through a mental process of psyching up? Or, or I guess, what's the mental preparation that you go through prior to a game? I'm usually a pretty laid-back guy. I say pretty, pretty relaxed. And then uh, usually when I go up, even before the game, I like to stay pretty relaxed. But then I kind of get going uh, after, you know, we do a little warm-up and stretch and stuff, like pregame. And then when I start putting the gear on and stuff, I start getting a little... You know, just mentally kind of getting in the game and just kind of kind of getting, yeah, intense, I guess. And then warm-ups, by the time I'm on the ice, I'm usually pretty amped up. And you know, I'll just take it from there. I don't really think about it. I just, just go. Do you talk to people before game or do you need to be in your own, own world? Is there music you listen to or, or specific things that have to be part of your pregame routine? Mm -hmm. No, I, I like, I always have a coffee. The power of caffeine is amazing. Yeah, uh, it's. I don't even think it's a caffeine, really, because by the time the game starts, it's like two and a half hours later, it's not even the kick. I just like to relax with a cup of coffee. I'm, I like drinking coffee, so I'd say that's about it. Other than that, no, I, I mean, I like listening to some rock music and stuff, but nothing specific. There's no specific song or nothing. I just listen to it, just whatever. You're a coffee drinker. Is this standard coffee, or is this like some specific roast from some odd corner of the universe? No, before games, it's usually Dunkin' Donuts just because it's there's a billion of them around here you can't go down a street corner without seeing a Dunkin Donuts so I just pretty much by process of elimination drink Dunkin Donuts before games when I was in Canada last it was Tim Hortons all over the place what do you like better Tim Hortons or Dunkin Donuts uh, not even a good question Tim Hortons way better not even close what makes that special? I mean, I've had this debate with friends. Coffee is ten times better. It's like I don't know how. I don't like. I don't know the difference between the beans or whatever. But All right, you just want coffee. You don't really care that much about the beans. Just coffee, hot, and so yeah, on and so Tim forth. Tim Hortons is way better. I know that. Dunkin' Donuts okay. Dunkin' Donuts is like four or five out of ten. Tim Tim Hortons is like just yeah, pretty good. It's like gourmet. It's good. Good stuff. What rock music do you listen to before a game? I like not metal. I hate like death metal, like that uh, yell stuff. No, yeah. but I like like rock. Like uh, listen to a lot of like Foo Fighters and stuff, uh, Pearl Jam bands like that. A lot of my a few of my favorites. Is there an artistic, creative side to you? Oh yeah, I'm I'm a musician. You play what instrument? I play guitar and I sing. Acoustic or electric? Both. Where does this come from? How long have you been doing this? I didn't know. I've been playing guitar probably three or four years. Well, I played a bit as a kid, but I, I hung it up. I played piano as a kid too, but I hate being forced to do things. I don't know. I just don't like in I used to be forced to practice and stuff, and it just didn't. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. So I quit piano, and then I took guitar lessons for like three times when I was like 10. And same thing. I hated them forcing me to do so. And then I picked it up guitar again when I was like 19, 18. And pretty much I've just been playing ever since. And I've always liked to sing. I've always liked to sing and mess around so I don't know I've gotten all right and both my sisters are singers too they both have like music degrees and stuff so pretty musical pretty musical group I guess is there any musical insp inspiration for you, some artist, performer, or family member that inspired you musically? One of my sisters is pretty, she's pretty good. She plays, like, she used to teach, uh, like, guitar lessons and piano lessons and singing and stuff. She's pretty good. I like, uh, I don't know, inspiration. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not like you decided you wanted to be the next Bob Dylan or something. Well, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> no, I mean, it'd be cool. Like, I really love music, and I mean, that'd be cool, but no, I mean, yeah, I mean, the music, <laughs> music's, I don't know, it's more of a hobby. It's, it's a lot of fun to play. And it'd be cool to be a famous rocker, but I'm realistic and realize that it's, you know, it's pretty tough. So, Is it kind of a, an escape when you need, on those rare moments when you may need to get away from hockey, you grab the guitar? Oh, yeah. Complete. Sometimes I leave the rink and I'm just like so much stuff going on. I just sit down and start jamming. I don't know. Forget everything else. It's pretty fun. Getting back to hockey. Uh, this hockey club, there's still an awful lot of hockey East games to go. That we are at the moment in fifth place, three points out of fourth place. Can we get home ice? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, if you look at the standings, everybody's so close. Like, it's crazy. Obviously, uh, every game from here on out is huge, you know. Every point is 
it's so important. Everybody's so close, as I said before. It really, it could finish any any way. Like how the standings look today is definitely not how it's going to look in the end. So everybody's so close. What's going to determine winners from losers? You know, I'm, I think, um, I, I guess hard work. I'd say it's going to obviously a few bounces here or there. I mean, no matter what anybody says, luck is a big has a big factor too. You know, you know. Hopefully, you got to keep working. Uh, I'd say the hardest working teams. You know, the guys experience helps. Um, Obviously, you guys have been around, you know, know how to win, know how to get it done, helps. And, yeah, a few breaks here and there. And goaltending, single, probably most important thing, I'd say, because, like, it's great. Goaltending could win you a championship, you know. One goal games. We have been in, I believe, ten of them now this year. Second most in Hockey East. Only Merrimack's been in more. It's almost the same question I asked a moment ago. What makes a difference in one goal games? Is it the detail work? Yeah, I mean, like I said, everybody in this league, you know, from first place to ten place is, like, so close. It's like it's crazy how anybody could beat anybody in any any given night so yeah it's just uh, like everybody can shoot everybody can pass everybody can hit everybody can do all that it's just a matter of you know yeah who's winning those little pucks getting those you know jumping on their opportunities who's making those little plays and smart defensively like i said goaltending as i said before big and generally if you know you win the battles and stuff you'll generally get the luck i mean it doesn't always work out that way but generally it's the way it works so it's a combination of those stuff how do you define your role on the ice What's Mark Robothin's job? I don't know. That's a, I, I don't know. I just do, I just try to, I don't know. I basically, it's, they put me on the ice. They tell me what I'm needed to do, and I do what I can to help the team and what they tell me to do. So, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say any word really defines what I do out there. Captain, one of the things I've had the coaches say, I've had other players say, is they talk about you, one of the guys that speaks up in the locker room, one of the guys that speaks up on the bench, one of the guys that speaks up in practice. Is that because that's just you, or is that something that came with putting the C on the shirt? I mean, probably a little bit of both. Um, as I said before, I like I, you know, I hate losing. Uh, I'm real. I get a real competitive drive, so you know, I, I get real. You know, I get like fired up and try to get guys going a bit and stuff and uh, so that naturally probably just comes out anyways but I think yeah not even just being a captain but being my fourth year you know and you know really wanted to do you know have a, have a good finish here I think that you know that uh, has an effect on you know me speaking up and yelling trying to get the guys going because that's how bad I just want to win you know I want to you know I want to win and get as many wins now under our belt as we can at the end of the year and you know finish as strong as we can so it's a combination. <laughs> all right we'll wrap it up a little bit of a different question who's your favorite guitar player of all time? My favorite guitar player. I am going to say Tom Morello. Lead guitar, Rage Against Machine, Audio Slave. Just came out with his uh, solo acoustic Night stuff. Watchmen. Actually, Night Watchman, yep. Yeah. I'd say he's my favorite. Jerry Cantrell of uh, Alice in Chains is also, would also be up there. He's also really good. Really liked him. Yeah, I'd say they'd be the top two, probably. Off the top of my head. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could think of a bunch of guys, but... Those your favorites. That's all I wanted to know. You don't have to come up with a long list. Mark Robothin, always a pleasure to talk with you. We thank you very much for your time. Look forward to doing it again. Yep, for sure, Bob. Thanks. Riverhawk Captain, Black Winger, guitar player, Mark Robothin. You're listening to the Riverhawk Radio Network. Innocence and suffering, loneliness and grace, pain and love and beauty, laughter, death and faith. Where the rising fortune meets the setting sun I'm afraid, my friend, when one is left It's just the same as none I will always stand beside you Defend you and mend you 